suppose that we keep hoping that you the Thank you so much for honoring this invitation tonight, for carving out time from your demanding schedules and turning up with such vigor. I know tomorrow is a working day, so I'll really try to keep it brief. Thank you for willingly and with a little bit of duress sometimes giving uh, to this cause. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank my husband, who is with me tonight. I want to thank him for supporting this effort and for his very generous contribution, which I, which I shall announce later, his contribution, family contribution. I thank you for your, for your support and your humility, your devotion to your country and your concern for those who are less fortunate is a constant attraction to me. I want to thank His Excellency and Mama Janet who tirelessly work for our country, who have tried to make education for children more affordable and relevant. They have also supported Bishop Bob Senior School, which I shall call BGSS, time and time again, in many, many ways, I'm told. I thank the founders of the school, the Bishop Namanya, the board of directors led by Honorable Mary Mujeni, and all those that have rallied together to make this dream a reality. You saw the need and believed in your ability to address it, and you are doing a commendable job. I thank the headmaster and the teachers and the staff because without their continuous effort to teach mental health, BGSS would not be as successful as it is and as we've heard today. The parents and the stakeholders for their support in enabling their children to show up and to provide for their needs while at school. I want to thank the supporters and well-wishers of BGSS, including you here today and those who are not able to make it, who have uh, made today, who have made it today and who couldn't make it for reasons, for one reason or another, but are in full support. Thank you so much for your contributions, for your enthusiasm, your support in more ways than one. I thank um, my husband's family, which was not able to be here for one reason or another, but have shown their support and have contributed to this effort. I also thank my siblings, my family. Some of them were able to make it, others were not able to make it. But for their support also, and for their pledge to support the school beyond today. I wondered why I had been chosen to be the guest of honor, and I thought perhaps it is because I also come from Chirhura district. We were raised in a place called Omkatongore in Nyabshozi, and I remember fond memories of Christmas in Twembiambi Church. It is at Rushere Church where my husband and I tied the knot about 24 years ago. And it is in Mugore where we now have a home. So there is no doubt that Rushere is our hometown. Um, so anyway, when I was asked to be the guest of honor, I did not hesitate to say yes. But I had to do some due diligence just to know what I was going to be guest of honor for. So I, made a, I asked permission to visit the school. And Honorable uh, Mary Mujeni and uh, the woman MP escorted me to, to the school 
and I was amazed. I found a clean and organized environment. I found students who looked sharp and disciplined. I found infrastructure that I did not think had been set up in that area for a school. Um, and for the short amount of time they had established the school, the amazing academic performance they had achieved. And most attractive to me was the aspect of godliness. It is something that I treasure because that is my heritage. Uh, we were raised in a family of, well, my grandfather was a missionary. And I know that if it was not for Christianity, we would be in a very different place. I know that Christianity is what enlightened them, is what brought education to the area, and that's what produced the leaders that we have today. And so that meant a lot to me. And coupled with the fact that they were educating girls, I just decided that I will partner with them and we will support these girls and support this school. I also believe that it is a solid team, a team that can be trusted to deliver. So I ask us to continue supporting, not just tonight, but to continue supporting so that we support the girls and, 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 and um, education for children, just not in this school, but even in the area and in the country, because this is a future. The children are the future. My siblings and I are lucky to have been raised by solid, down-to-earth parents who loved us well and taught us well. They instilled the fear of God in us, the values of honesty, integrity, hard work, and love for our fellow human beings. They also taught us never to think too highly of ourselves or too lowly. They always supported us to be our best, to be the best of who we are. They taught us about culture and traditions and the ways that were worth emulating. They taught us that the greatest wealth was people. It is what I have, it is what I was exposed to growing up, what I have experienced raising our children that leads me to believe that we have an opportunity and a duty to the children of this generation and the leaders of tomorrow. It is my firm belief that to whom much is given, much is expected. Therefore, I want to support the effort in educating girls, but not only girls, but boys. And I want to support the effort of keeping the girl child in school. I want to support the effort of well-rounded education for children in the academics, in sports and arts, not just in my hometown, but in the community around me. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity again. Before I, um, I, before I announce what um, other people I had, uh, other friends I had asked to contribute, have contributed, I just would like to ask my husband to come and say hello to you and maybe we could um, announce our contribution and their contribution together. Thank you. Um, uh, Honorable Rokashaka, General Tumkunde, Mayor of, of uh, Entebbe, uh, today is not my day. I'm not the guest of honor. That uh, honor is, belongs to the field marshal. I call her field marshal because uh, she's, uh, she's the one in charge of, of the home. So, first of all, let me say that uh, we're very honored as a family that you have chosen Charlotte 
as a role model for the young for the young girls. I cannot think of somebody better uh, who can uh, inspire uh, the young girls in in uh, uh, Chirhura and in the country. So thank you for that honor, and I'm sure she's up to the up to the task. She will do a good job. Secondly, I was uh, the, uh, there's a great man called uh, Chairman Mao Zedong. He said, "Women hold up half of the sky." It's a, it's a very famous quote. Women hold hold up half of the sky. What he meant by that is that women hold up half of society. And uh, if you have half of society disabled because uh, they're not going to school, your society as a whole is disabled and you cannot have a free, prosperous and stable society when the girl child and women as a whole are not represented. So I thank you for this. Uh, first of all, I thank the, the bishop for, for his initiative. It may not be known, but I think I was one of the few people who contributed right at the beginning when, when he was building the school five years ago. So I thank him for the, uh, for, for the initiative, but I also thank all of you for coming out and strongly supporting this initiative. Thank you so much. Oh, and, uh, we, and let's the guest of honor announce. You. <laughs> okay, so we have some friends that we had asked um, to support this initiative. Some did not want to be uh, to mention how much they have they have contributed, but I said at least we'll mention their names. Some I don't think mind being mentioned. Um, one is the Ruparia Foundation, which gave us 10 million. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Okecha, uh, who own the lot of milk, gave us 5 million. <laughs> Natasha and Edwin Karjire gave us 5 million. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Kunal gave us 1 million. Together, the Kutesa family gave 20 million. Um, okay, so 22 million from the Kutesa family, Dr. and Mrs. Magara, and um, the, the Kenergava family has, has contributed 50 million. So all together, it's 92 million. Thank you. Thank you so much for the honor once again, and thank you so much for showing up and contributing so largely. God bless you.